This is the brick the client chose, and this is the brick we've built the house with. Have I just made a colossal stuff up? Keep watching to find out how we ended up building with this brick instead of this brick. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how we solve problems on site as project managers and the benefits of having a building company like us dealing with those problems for you. So our clients are busy professionals and they've entrusted us with overseeing the building of their investment property and dealing with all of the sub-trades to get that house from start to finish. Along the way, we'll encounter problems and we need to work out what are we going to do? Is this a problem that we can solve without letting the client know? Do we need to escalate it? Do we need to pause the job? What is the client's brief? What is the client's goals? And how do we make sure that this house that we're building ticks those boxes and meets code and stands the test of time? The Bricks is a great example of how we encountered a problem on site and had to make one of those decisions. Yo, we're on site and the bricks are going in. So there's some issues with the bricks, so we won't talk about that too much. Last time we were on site filming, the bricklayer had called me in and was like, hey, Josh, spotted an issue with the bricks. Turns out we'd been sent a bad batch of bricks and the bricks get cut as they come out. There was a bit of an offset in that and it meant that two things. The bricks were slightly out of square and there wasn't a clean cut on it. Unfortunately, they'd only noticed it once we got to what we call half high. Half high is where we go halfway up and then we get it inspected so they can see behind it. Within an hour of the problem being raised, the brick supplier, myself and the bricklayer were all on site having a meeting about these bricks. To be honest, it wasn't an issue that like stood out like a sore thumb. It was something that you had to look for, but once you started to see it, you noticed it and you couldn't unsee it. And so it was like a minor detail that a trained eye would pick up. The other thing is it was within the tolerances. So as project managers, we were faced with a choice. Do we accept that it's within the tolerances, but carry on? Or do we stop and pause the project and look for a solution? Collectively, the three of us agreed that if it was my house or the bricklayer said if it was his house, he would not be happy with it. That for us is then the first sign that we need to pause the job and work out a solution. The very next step before raising it with the client is to gather the facts. So immediately after this meeting, the brick supplier is going off and finding out how many batches of that brick in the yard are bad. What are the other options for brick? I then also ask a question, if the client wanted an exact brick with an exact look, how long would we wait to get a correct batch? The client needs us to give them facts so they can make an informed decision. So we go back and we say, look, the original brick you chose and the original look you're going for, we've encountered a problem. We can wait for a new batch to be in the country on this date and that will delay the job by six weeks. But I've also spoken to the yard and they've got these bricks, which are the same model, just different color, in the yard, ready to send out free of charge. They'll also remove the old brick free of charge. In the scheme of things, we'll lose one week of the outside progress on site. To supplement this info, our team in the office also went through a few lookbooks and found a few photos of dark brick with dark timber houses to send to our client to say, hey, originally you wanted a light brick and cedar look, that's not quite working, how about this? We still think it looks amazing, it's gonna look sharp, it's gonna stand the test of time, you're still gonna achieve all of your goals as an investor, and don't worry, you get to keep doing your day job, and we'll suss all of those things out and keep your build on track. And I'm glad to stand here and say that we did that. We got rid of the old brick, we got the new brick in. Uh, it's all the way up and the outside of the house is finished. It looks amazing. I really like the look and I think it looks sharp, it looks modern and, and all the benefits the client wanted of building with brick have still been achieved.
So if you're still watching at this point, go ahead, click subscribe. You're obviously loving this deep dive in behind the scenes. Quick update on site. Since you are here last, we did the roof, then we've had the brick issues, and now we're here fully finished on the outside. We're hooking up drains to mains, and inside we've got flooring down, kitchen cabinets are in. So next up, we're gonna get carpet down, and we are going to do bench top and appliances. Then we can fit off the plumbing. In the bathroom there, we've gotta get the tiler in and finishing touches outside. As soon as drains are done, we're gonna get the digger in, clear everything out. We're gonna prep the patio. We're gonna plant some hedging. We're gonna build a little fencing gate. And it's gonna go from being an overgrown backyard with a garage that needed to get demolished to a second dwelling on this property that didn't exist before. How crazy. And action.